Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so. I'm flying. I think what we'll do first, right? We'll start with the smallest part of the game, right? Right. Is it the best Zelda? <laughs> I was ever? thinking about this. Is it the best? I mean, I, you know, sometimes you're in the shower and your mind wanders. Mm -hmm. Recently, every shower I've had, my mind has wandered to yeah. Zelda. And Is this well, when you're doing your, your, your check? <laughs> I'm doing my check, yeah. Got to check your bolts. <laughs> um, no, so I, I, the, every time I've had a shower and had my, my mind has wandered. <laughs> right, okay. For the past few weeks, past few months even, my mind has wandered to that question. Is it yeah. the best the Zelda best. game ever? Because the question doesn't mean, because it also means, to me mm. anyway, is it the best game ever? So, is it, so would you say, for example, because <laughs> so right, Ocarina of Time was the best game ever for me. So for you, it's, it's kind of all tied up into one. Yeah, it's all one question. I get question. that though, because like yeah. when I think about like probably my favourite ever game, which, yeah. which does change from time to like it doesn't change, but it's like favourite film. <laughs> right. Because the difference is between best and yes, favourite. Like, there we go. Right. Let's, let, let's put that down now. Right, so, yeah. we, so we'll have that difference. So yeah. whatever we say, we can always go back on. But, but even saying future. that, I think that Ocarina of Time was the best game ever. Okay, that's right. fine. So for me, for example, my first three in Zelda was Wind Waker. So it was. So Wind Waker's always held a very special place for me mm. because, like, I love the aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love the fact that folk hated it. <laughs> I got off on that's it. You into it. That's you into it. That's you into it. Love the games you hate. Um, <laughs> right, I'll say what I think. I think, mm -hmm. I, I think, if I'm thinking objectively, it probably yeah. is the best game ever made. Like, right. <laughs> no, it's just like a Beverly. That's good. Yeah, we'll start, start on objectively, it's the best <laughs> ever made. But, you know, I think there are aspects of the time that I'll. I always prefer like I do. Yeah. I do love the dungeons of your time. Mm -hmm. I think there's something to be said for how different and atmospheric each one of them has. Like yeah. each, each one mm -hmm. has a sense of place about it. Whereas all the dungeons in Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild, yeah. all kind of similar. They're the same it's, look, you know. Yeah. But when you think of, when you when you step back and look at just the sheer scope of it, yeah. there's so much good stuff in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And I, so I can't. I just cannot deny that. Yeah. If you're thinking objectively, it's probably the best game ever made. It's, it's interesting because what you're like, the best Zelda game ever. And I agree. I think what other Zelda games do better. So I'd say Ocarina, Wind Waker, probably even Skyward Sword. Probably have better bosses. Did you just say? What did I just say? Skyward Sword is better. Anything? Right. Okay. Right. Calm down. <laughs> it's right. like what? Calm down. But I'd say the bosses in other Zelda games, certainly in other 3D Zelda games, right. are more memorable. Yeah. Now, the... what are they kind of called? Right. Like, what, what are these bosses called? They're always like... They're all variations on Ganon. Fire Ganon, There's Water like Ganon. Warblade Ganon, Soul Blade Ganon, yeah. Thunder Force Ganon or something. <laughs> and Fire. Earthman. Earth yeah. Ground, ground, ground Force. Ground Force, force Ganon. Doctor uh, Ganon. Changing Rooms Ganon. <laughs> Changing Rooms. Baker Grove Ganon. <laughs> 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 Beach Grove Garden again. Pop us this game. Pop 15 to 1 again. I would say they were fun, mm. but there's no real character to them. The only boss that sticks in my head mm. is Ganon's final form. Yeah, the last boss. Like yeah. the massive big fucking pig. Oh no, well, you've never the one before that. It's a big yeah. scorpion thing. Oh, I, I think, see, if you hadn't done the four Ganon bosses before that, mm -hmm. it'd be more unique. But because it's essentially the four of them together. I, I just feel like I like the idea. Of the story, just like it, it kind of boils away, like the Jasper Carrot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ganon, Ganondorf thing, and just is like, right, essentially, like the idea is that Link is always kind of this reincarnation of this heroic spirit, Aye. and Zelda's kind of this reincarnation of this kind of wise, this kind of wisdom, and Ganon is always the reincarnation of it. So I actually quite like to go it away. <laughs> Ganon's always the reincarnation of a pig. I'm about an angry, <laughs> a really angry pig. But I think the problem with it is like it felt like for some of it they keep talking about Ganon, but when you yeah. finally meet him, it's like oh, it's just a big mess. Aye, it's like it's like yeah. a monster with the thing, no. and, and then you get the pig, and oh yes. Yeah. Even like in Skyward Sword, you've got what's the name of that guy, the fancy man. Oh, Girahim. Yeah. yeah, so you've got the him. Fancy man. He's <laughs> a fancy guy. <laughs> like these cool clothes and stuff. He's like, a fancy guy. Um, but you know what I mean? He's kind of a bit. He's cool. Yeah, he's no, no, he's good. He's a great designer. No, he's great. Who was the guy in Twilight Princess? No, you're Zant. Yeah. yeah. So they've always had, like, it's, it's, in a lot of the Zelda games, there's always been, like, Ganon's pal. Yeah, you know, the guy that essentially is like, yeah. Ganon's. Well, what do you call him? Ganon's hype man. Uh, you know, the guy who's like, hey. <laughs> 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 You'll never believe it. What was good, I suppose, you have this pressure of knowing that eventually yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to go and fight this big evil. Yeah. But it was a shame that there wasn't any. Like minute to minute evil, or like a guy who'd occasionally turn up and yeah. just be like, give me yeah. some hassle.
Let's we'll see what we've covered off so far. So we've talked about dungeons. Dungeons. We've talked right. about bosses. How do you feel about the, co the, the weapons Web breaking? This is the big controversial one. I was raging about it for a while. Right. I, I don't... Right. I don't mind it. No. But what did bother me <laughs> was when everyone was like, oh no, but I guess you need to try different types of weapons. Aye. They're no, they're no that different. There's like, like three types of weapons. It's not like, it, uh, well, it's no magic in-depth yeah. well, system. I think it's you to... If you were to be genuine, gen, uh, yeah. generous, you would say there's swords, boomerangs, spears, great swords, magic rods. Yeah. I would say it doesn't bother me. Mm. What does bother me a wee bit is there's no way to get them back. Yes, or exactly. there's no way to be like, yeah. alright, I'll, I'll get that one fixed. Yeah. Like, I mean, I suppose there is already because there's like five weapons that you can't yeah. fix, right? I feel like there should be more, like the magic weapons. Well, it's not that you fix them, but they, they, they rebuild, rebuild them. them for you if you've got the parts. Aye. I think... And one of them's shite. <laughs> it's one of a replica yeah. of the good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, I can fix your ceremonial replica, which yeah. does like 15 damage. It's well, like... The reason for that is because of the subquest attached to it. Oh, is it? There's oh. a shrine that you can open up with it. I'm assuming you've not done it then. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah. Okay. It's like, so just in case you, you've lost them. Right. Yeah, would, you, that that shrine would be locked off to you, right. so yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I've got the Master Sword, but it, it's my, like, my, my utility sword. Like, mm -hmm. I use it for bashing down trees and, and breaking yeah. rocks, and that's it. It's like, breaking it's, rocks? You know, it's like, you know, when you get infinite bombs. Yeah, but then they blow away. So, so if you're on the, so if you're on the side of a hill and you blow up, like, you're. Use the, use the square bombs? No, I mean, the, no, you, you blow up a, a bit of. Oh, yeah, shit. And the actual, away. like, the yeah, you know, diamond yeah, yeah, yeah. dead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Whereas if you use your sword, it just sits there. Yeah, that's good. Point. I think that's my favourite Master Sword sequence out of all the Zelda games now. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's definitely top the Ocarina of Time one. So, story and the memories. Yeah, right. So they're both kind of separate, but to be honest, I don't think you get the whole picture right. unless you seek out every memory. Would you like my opinion on this? I'd like to hear it. Well, right. that's why we're doing that. Yeah, because I've seen the, the, the sort of going consensus is that it's quite a light story and it's me bit disappointing. Mm. I think that the memory hunting is the best yeah. way to do plot in yeah. an open world game. You, you, you get as much as you put into it. Yeah. You know? So you go somewhere, you find a memory, attach that bit, and then that fleshes out the story, so it's exploration yeah. that makes the story yeah. more coherent. I think this is the closest we've come to actually seeing like feel things in a game. Like, well, because it's always there. The and then diary, when you read the diary, the diary it talks about why why Link's speak. silent. It's because of this pressure on. Yeah. And yeah, it's the first time I suppose. It's so good. I love it. But I did feel like more than anything else, Zelda. It's part. I mean, it's, a lot of it's about her journey to again for her to fulfil. So you've got Link feeling the pressure. Right, I'm the hero of time. I yeah, need yeah. to do this. Yeah. Everyone, but all my other pals have got fucking. Mechs. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's yeah. just him and a tunic whistle. Uh, um, and but the flip side of it is Zelda's kind of like she's been trained to yeah. be this like essentially this mage, but she can't do it. I remember the first trailer, and you saw a little bit as Link climb up this deface world mountain. It's just that's the ultimate solution to the uncharted problem of the shiny stones. That's how you would climb yeah. in real life, you know? It's so and you end up good. in situations like yeah. totally mm. like become memorable. Yeah. Because so when I first went into the Goron area, yeah. you're, what you're meant to do is you're meant to go in via like a, a, there's a ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah I went up the Someone gives you like North some North. resistant stuff. I don't remember you messaged me about this actually. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. What I did was I was aiming for like, a tower. Yeah. So I climbed up and then jumped, and then as I jumped, suddenly I was on fire. <laughs> I was like halfway down. I was like, oh shit, I'm on fire. So like, I, I didn't have enough, I didn't yeah. have anything to make me cooler. Mm. So I took all my clothes off, <laughs> all my items, and then just started running. So I didn't pass every enemy, I just kept eating like healing items and then eventually the raw food. And I made it to go on like village, and oh. so you're still too hot. And I ran into the shop naked, <laughs> and the merchant just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think you should put some clothes on. I was like desperately trying to buy this armor because I had like one heart left. I was like, but that became this. Oh, but the, it's, it means in my game, I've got this idea that my link is kind of like stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so like he kind of bumbles uh, into things where he's like, oh, it, he wasn't ready for that yet, yeah. but he got through it. And I quite like that rather than being like this, like well prepared. Like uh, see all the people who are like, oh, I'm going to do every shrine before I complete it. Like, uh, fair play, don't be wrong, fair play too. Yeah. But I like the idea that my guy kind of bumbles into kind of like, <laughs> like, oh shit, I'm uh, dying. Yeah. I'm gonna, if, I don't, if I don't make it, I'm going to die. He's running about some pants. Oh, it's like the idea of your link just being a bumbling guy going, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh shit! <laughs> Jumping off oh, before fuck. he gets, I'm on fire! <laughs> he's like, he's jumped off before he's got a paraglider and yeah. you just see the king be like, oh, 
fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that this isn't, he's actually reincarnated 20 different yeah, times. Yeah, it's like nice. dragging, dragging this yeah. meat sack back. Um, this is the first time since Mario 64 there's been such a good launch game. I'm impressed actually, that's half an hour you might to bring in Mario 64, that's good. And it's an amazing camera. Um, it's, it's the best 3D camera. Um, aye, it's, it is the best. It's, quite, it's not just that, it's one of the best games Nintendo have made. Yep, full stop. Yep. yep. Um, and it's going to take a long time for that yep. to, to be eclipsed. You never know, Mario Odyssey. Fucking Bowser the Pimp. <laughs> <laughs> slapping, <laughs> slapping fucking Mario. Oh.